Good morning, everyone. Today, I want to do a Bible art journal page, and I'm actually going to take from one of these prayer cards, and I just figured, why not? And I'll use my Timu stamps. There's the number of it, 5372. And I used stays on. I'm going to try to use these today. I've had these for a long time. Um, people may still have them. But I'm going to use these. I'm trying to use everything that I have. Okay. So, out of the prayer cards, you can get them anywhere. You can order them from anywhere. You can even get them at Dollar Tree. Um, I have this one. So, this is what I'm going to use. But first, before we even get started, I want to say hello to my new subscribers. What is it? Tonra McLeod, Beauties in Life, Bonnie Safi, Amber Bowles, and of course, my favorites, they're always there in a bit when I do a video, are Lynn and Lucy. They're my absolute constants, and I am grateful for you. Now... Let's begin. I did stamp them on tissue paper because I, I want her uh, facing this way. And the stamp doesn't face that way. It faces left. I need her to face right. Um, for the watercolor crayons, I just cut an, a cutting board. A plastic cutting board that I can use to mash them around with. But the verse we have today is Proverbs 3, 5, which, let me pull you down a little bit. Um, I did use some mask it on it. Um, it's a masking fluid. You can either order it online or go to the store and get it. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. Proverbs 3, 5. So here it is, Proverbs 3. Here's five. But I also put in there and always acknowledge him and he will make straight your paths. Be not wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and turn away from evil and it will be healing for your to your flesh and a refreshment to your bones. That's all I'm going to say about that. So, let me move this out of the way. Because there's a very quick way. I, I don't even cut these out. Um... I just have, oh, and I'll use the five below paint brushes, and then I have some water brushes. I'm just going to take the water brush, make sure it's got water, and I'm just going to go around the fairy, and then she'll come right out. She'll rip off real easy. I don't have to have any square, you know, harsh edges, because to, in order to put this down, oh, I'm going to need my... Yeah, I better go get my glue. But that's how I get those out. Okay, and to glue these down, I'm just going to use a matte medium. Okay? So let me get these. Let me show you. I'm using the fairy. These little snails. And boy, but I, but I mean little. I mean, these are tiny and the tree and we may throw in some flowers maybe we hand draw some flowers but let me get these torn out i showed you how i did that i just take a, a water brush um i go around the fairy a couple times because when you cut it out you leave a hard edge and sometimes that edge just shows up this gives you a nice easy torn well there went her wing but that's okay None of us are perfect. So that it lays down better. So let me get those taken off and I'll be right back. Okay, and if you hear snoring, I'm just going to move things around a little bit. Um, there's my snorer. She's uh, around 80 pounds. She's a fight rescue. 
She's my big baby. Yeah, see, she's our last. We've had six rescues. Hello, my beautiful girl. Tell mommy love you. Yes. He's all right. But she is very gentle, very sweet. Um, I live in a community where I would say I'm 57, and we're among, I, my husband and I are among the younger people here. But it's fine. It's very quiet. That's what we like. Um, let me fix this a little bit. Okay. Why does that just seem cockeyed? Anyway, let's get started. So, I'm going to put down my background first. Because once, or should I glue these down? I don't know, because if I glue these down, that's going to create a weird kind of resist. And I don't, I don't want that. And I'm hoping this does good through here. And I may... Put the tree there. I'm gonna put her. Yes, I put my tree over here. Yep, that's what I'll do. I'll put my tree over here. Her here. And I will just take these apart. So that, oops, there goes my little tree from my fan. I know I woke you up. I'm sorry, Boogie. Let's see. Might put these there. These, it, anyway, you get my drift. So I think what I'll do is I'll put my background down first. And... I'll take some. Let me get out of your way with the colors here. Um, this is what the set looks like inside. Tells you what your colors. This is the 24. I mean, they weren't very expensive, so that's why I got them because I cannot afford Karen Dash. At the time when I bought these, there was not a whole lot. It were these and the Karen Dash. That was it. Um, so, yeah. Um, what I'm going to do, I wonder if this is going to be a good side. Yeah, because I can mix them. I'm just going to take the blue cobalt and I'm putting it on the rougher side. Which is fine. Because I'm just trying to break some of that color off. I'm going to create my blues, my sky. And then I'm going to break off, get some white going here. I did put clear gesso. I love this gesso because it is ultra fine. Um, I got this from Amazon and this 8.5 fluid ounces will last you a long time, a long time, but it is ultra fine and it is so smooth and beautiful. I absolutely love it. Uh, Amazon. That's where I got mine. <clears throat> All right, so let's pick a water brush. I want a round. Do I have a round out? You know what? I will take this one. This is from Five Below. They're like Dollar Tree. You, you, somebody even said these look like makeup brushes. They were in the um. What do you call it? The arts and crafts section of Five Below. So I'd have to think that they were meant for art projects. I do have a paper towel. 
And I think I'm just, ooh, somebody opened that. I'm just going to give these a little spritz, little Dollar Tree. And if I want, oh, look at that. So I'm just going to mix these, get these nice and done. Um, okay, what I think I might do is just give this just a quick spritz so that these will spread. And I'm not going to put them all in the same exact spot. I want some variation in my my sky. Let me add some of this. I'll go down here. I'll give it another little spritz. Because I want my colors to blend nicely. See, and all I'm doing is I'll even spritz this pretty well. Just get my colors moving and then I can mix. You know, I'll get in that crevice there. I'll add a little bit of darker up here. I can even wipe away. I have water over here. I can get into the white where I think it's too dark and just use the white to blend my colors. I'll rinse off my brush again in some water. Come in, pick up the white, use the white to soften my color. I know that's weird, but it's all good. And I can still see my words. Pick it up, come in, if I need a little bit more I'll add a little bit more here. I can even mix just to get a little bit of difference going. But there, that looks good. That's fine. I'm going to dry this and I'll be right back. Okay, that's dry. Now we'll move on to our greens. I have sea green, willow green, and regular green that I scratched out onto the little cut in half cutting mat. Um, and I'll do the same thing. I'll just wet them. I'll put this right here so that you can see what I'm doing because I'm not doing that page. I'm doing this one. And I'll just come in and put the color in throughout. I'll rinse off my brush. I'll add, let's see what this, oh, that's, that's, that's kind of bluish. So let's, we'll use that in the sky. How's that? I'll even add some water to my brush to pick it up. I'll add some circles in this because I, I don't like the, I'm going to let it pull so that it does its own thing. Okay, so the sea green, which was a no-go for the grass, but that's okay. Um, I have regular green. Seems pretty dark as well. I'm just going to use my fingers a little bit to, whoopsie, just meld this together a little bit. I mean, I could actually do that, but then that just lifts it up a little bit too much for me. Rinse it off. Let me dry this real quick and see if I can add color on top of color. Okay, now that I've dried it, I'm going to take a light olive and see if I can just get some color off of here just to 
add a little bit of variation. Oh, let's see if can I get you to come off there. There we go. And I'll leave that sitting up like that. Now, let's, I'm going to use this to make some hillsides almost. Just to add a little difference in my background. That looks good. Okay, this is dry. I did get the mask it off because, <clears throat> excuse me, you don't want to put your pieces down and still have that mask it there. And then it's stuck on there. So let me bring you down just a little bit better. Um, like I said, I'm using matte fluid medium. You can use any medium you want. I just open up the lid and use it from there. What I do is I will put some on here. I'll just use the same brush I had. Uh, let's do the tree first. I'll put some on here. One swipe. I'll be quick with it because I don't want it. And then I will put some on the back side of this. Hopefully it becomes a little more transparent. Because this was not straight up tissue paper. This just was tissue paper that came in a pair of shoes. Whoopsie. So maybe I will wet it the front of it at least so that it goes I have it in my hand and I'm just gonna wet it hopefully it goes a little more transparent so that when it dries it stays transparent all right let me there we go that's Pretty transparent. Oops, I'm sorry, I bumped it with my. I just don't want any air bubbles, so I'm going from the inside out. Try to have no creases. Well, it's a little wonky, but it's fine for me. I can still read the words behind it. I have many other Bibles. This is just my art journaling Bible, so please don't come at me for this. Okay. All right, that looks good. See? I can still read it once it dries. All right. Let me move out a little bit. I'll take our fairy, put her here. Let me. I'm going to spritz her with some water again. To get her to be transparent. And I've got to be careful with her. As you can see, I'm trying to be very delicate. Ugh. Oh no, there we go. I'll pick up some, I'll put it on here. I'll gently remove my fingers and I'll try and lay her as best as I can where I want her. And then I'll just gently, and it's curled under there, so I'll come in here and try to remove that. I did it on tissue paper instead of just automatically stamping it in here um, because can I just yeah I can remove that all right I didn't want the black ink to bleed through when I do it this way I'll show you um, there's no bleed through at all and 
Let's see. I just wet my little my little snails. good and then for here ooh. it's a fairy teaching session there we go all right that looks good to me ooh. There we go. And I can even put, I will stamp with the birds. Why not? Because I'll show you what I mean about the bleed through. I try to get my videos to be so short, but they're still quite long. So there's some birds. Oh. Look at that. I'll show you. See, I'm just putting some birds. Different stamp set. Yep, I like that. Um, it's from this stamp set. 4997. Yep. So there's the birds. See how it shadows a lot and on the other side? Well, you can't. Let me get this dry. Okay, it's dry. Um, you can see a little bit where the paper shows, but not a whole lot. All you gotta do is just go back with some of your the same colors and just dab it in. But yeah. You can use any stamp set you want um, for your Bible art journaling. And that was using the Stadler Aquarelle watercolor crayons. You can use any watercolor crayons. I just used what I had and this. Um, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you have any questions. I am there to answer for you. If you have any suggestions that you would like to see, um, and if it's in, within my crafting realm, I will try to get it set up for you. But there's our page for the day. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.